We're with Alex Pierce. Alex, congratulations. How are you feeling to be Fremantle's 10th captain? Uh, oh, pretty excited, pretty, very humbled. Uh, it's been a bit of a long process, like a lot of chatter about the, about the vote and who was going to be captain and take over after Nat's announcement. So there's an element of being relieved that it's finally, um, finally done and done with and won't have to ask any more questions about who it's going to be. But yeah, certainly, certainly incredibly humbled and proud to, yeah, to be the captain. Talk us through how you found out the news. Uh, just ushered into Peter Bell's office and him and JL, yeah, broke the news. So, um, yeah, I think when I heard Belly wanted to speak to him in his office, I had a fair idea what it was going to be. But, yeah, to hear the words that you're the, you're the captain is pretty a pretty special um, special feeling and, yeah, it's a pretty special moment. Belly is a past captain of the club. He must have been really proud to see you take on the role. Yeah, yeah, there's obviously not... There's been too many. You said there's been ten captains, so it probably makes it um, a little bit more special. And I think to have yeah Belly so heavily involved with the club, and he's been a great resource for me, um, sort of on and off the field really the last couple of years. And yeah, he will continue to be a huge resource for me uh, going forward in this position. And as captain, you have plenty of support with your two <coughs> vice captains. Can you tell us a bit about that? Yeah. So Andy and Caleb as vice captains, I think it's great to. Great to elevate them. It just proves the amount of hard work they've put in since I've arrived at the club, the amount of respect I've gained from the players um, and the coaches and the staff and clearly the the Frio family as a whole and the football, the entire football world, to be honest. They've, yeah, they've had an incredible start to their career and I think both of them have really grown as leaders and I'm really looking forward to working yeah, really closely with them and the part of my role is going to be to help them become the best leaders and the best players they can be and that's going to be exciting. And then the wider leadership group as a whole, can you tell us, uh, talk us through those people as well? Yeah, so new additions, um, Jago Mira comes in, Sam Switkowski and Hayden Young. Um, again, really exciting, good mix um, of experience and youth and what they all have in common is they're just incredibly driven and hungry to be really great players and to be a part of a really great team. Um, Jager has come in, obviously with a lot of experience at multiple clubs and playing at a really high level. And he's just come straight in and impressed with his professionalism, the way he goes about it. His ability to speak to the group as well, he's already taken charge a couple of times out on the track and um, really guided us through um, a few moments. Um, so I think he'll just add so much, yeah, so much experience and so many ideas from the different um, different organisations he's been with. Uh, Switter, um, obviously he's been around for a few years now, a little bit older. He's been through a lot, Switt. He's had to really work for everything he's had. He's had his hamstring issues, back issues. He's missed a heap of footy. But as I sort of said about all of them, he's just so hungry to, to get better. And he's always um, approached his career and the club with just such professionalism. Um, so it's yeah, he's a great role model for everyone, and he'll be yeah, he'll be great to have in there. Youngy, obviously, um, <coughs> Youngy, obviously, really, really young, and he's had a great rise these last couple of years. Battled with some injuries in his first first season or two, and then last year was probably the real breakout year where he's sort of taken, oh, taken the team, sort of taken his game to another level, and then. This preseason has just really elevated and he's just got this hunger to be really great and a real ruthless edge to his to his game. And he's, yeah, I think it's just super exciting what he's gonna produce on the field this season. So yeah, as, as well as his performances, like it's gonna be great to see him grow and sort of learn his way how to, be, how to become a great leader of the club. It's a fantastic leadership group. Back to your captaincy, what does it feel like knowing that your teammates and coaches voted for you? Yeah, it's incredibly, incredibly special and it's the only way to do it, I think, to, to run out there and know that everyone, um, everyone yeah, who's alongside me and who's a part of this club values me as a leader, um, means a lot and it really um, empowers me that I can um, sort of be the best I can and um, really try and help grow, um, grow the group. 
you spoke about Swidder uh, having to fight for everything that he's had in his career. You've also dealt with your fair share of adversity. How do you feel that has set you up to be a leader? Yeah, it's certainly um, given me a lot of perspective, spending time off the field um, and in rehab and watching and not always being involved and probably missing out on missing out on playing games and um, yeah, not having the experience on field that I might have had if I didn't have those setbacks, but it's given me a, a greater experience of um, appreciating sort of what I've got and um, probably have to, I mean, to work a bit harder at times. It's, I feel like it's helped me find real balance in my, in my life and football and it's something I'll, yeah, definitely try and take, take to this and pass on to my teammates because I feel like having a, a real balance in your life and football is really important in producing the best, uh, the best of yourself. And thinking back to your multiple times on the sidelines and on a like this, I don't know, it might have been far from your mind. It's a real big sign of how far you've come, especially in the past few years. Yeah. Oh, there's certainly moments yeah, where I question whether I'd be playing at all. So to be, yeah, to be sitting here um, as the captain ready to lead the Frio Dockers into season 2023, it's, yeah, it's incredibly special. And yeah, I'm trying to learn to appreciate some of these moments a bit more than maybe I did in the past. So yeah, I'll definitely take some time to, yeah, to feel really good and feel really proud of, of sort of what I've been able to achieve. And you've touched on it in, in some previous interviews, but your experience as standing captain last season helps get rid of those unknowns stepping into this role? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. I think initially when I um, took over last season, there was a lot of unknowns how I would manage things and just little things like speaking to the group before a game and just the extra weight um, on the shoulders um, during the week and pre and post game. A lot of that is was brought on by myself. So sort of found ways of um, alleviating some of that pressure. And yeah, I'll certainly, um, certainly have to do that now and navigate how I sort of manage and how I lead because how I lead will be, will be different than how Nat led and how Dave and how um, Pav led before, before me. So yeah, I'm looking forward to learning how it's going to be, how I'm going to best, um, yeah, how I'm going to best lead, and I'll be utilising all those three that I mentioned before um, in trying to help me become that leader. You touched on Pav, uh, Monday and Fife. You've played uh, with three captains. What can you take from maybe some of their leadership styles? Yeah, I think the great thing about all of them, they um, all had sort of different different qualities. Um, Nathan, I've obviously worked. Well, I think we well, work pretty closely with. I live with him. We've had a pretty good connection for a while, and even though he's not in the leadership group this year, he's going to be my biggest resource and my biggest help moving forward. And um, yeah, I'm going to need his need his guidance at times, and I'm really looking forward to seeing how our relationship can grow. And um, yeah, some of the some more wisdom that he can sort of impart on me a bit. And those, yeah, Dave and Pav, as mentioned, those guys I've kept in contact with and have really good relationships with. And um, when I came in, I was really young and impressionable. And those were some of the guys that had the biggest impact on me as a person and trying to get the most out of myself on and off the field. So yeah, I'll be definitely on the phone to them pretty soon to catch up with them and finding out yeah, a few tips. You've also become the seventh uh, Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander player to captain a VFL, AFL team. Joining Graham Farmer, Gavin Wanganeen, Michael Long, Chris Johnson, Adam Goods, and Stephen May, what does this mean to you? Yeah, that is. I was only speaking to Sonny about it before. Like we were trying to work out who the Indigenous leaders might have been, but it's yeah, it's again, it's incredibly humbling and and special, and yeah, something that certainly would never have expected, and don't feel like I belong in those. <laughs> alongside any of those names. But um, yeah, I, as well this year with the Indigenous round and the influence that I've had on the designing the jersey, it's gonna be a special special couple of weeks when we get to wear that and to be able to yeah, lead the team out wearing it again is gonna be incredibly special to me. Round one, St Kilda, 19th of March. How do you think you're gonna feel leading the boys out officially uh, for the first time? Excited, yeah, we're all, we're all super excited. It's been a long, pre-season it's been hard and we've been I, th I think we all feel like we're in a really good space but you never know at this time of the year we've been 
yeah, training hard and bashing each other up, but we're ready for ready for some competition, and we're ready to measure ourselves against yeah against some of the comp and just yeah super excited. Final note: our fans will be thrilled with this news. Their your their next captain. Uh, what's your message to them directly as we head into the twenty twenty three season? Um, oh, throughout my whole career, I've been incredibly supported. Um, by our fans, um, particularly at some of my lowest points, dealing with injuries and all throughout, um, I've been a great source of um, a great source of motivation for me. And this past season, being able to lead the boys out was incredibly special. And some of the moments I'll never forget were leading the boys out in front of the packed Frio, a Frio crowd, um, walking down the street and feeling the energy of of Frio people and their excitement and their love of this club and yeah I share that love of, of Fremantle and yeah I can't wait to um, to continue this journey and hopefully help bring some success very soon.